BBC News had a documentary be about the trouble on Sesuma a trendy pa. Now, documentary no obi be a fa wang. A fa a year the late TB Joshua and a fess on a sorry a home. Now, therefore, I know an amami penny be at a video no mono a can send be said. A yadia brought TB Joshua at Yasen or Nasore no a yadia or man a day and ma mo ye virgin. A bro or no TB Joshua, natural say or ne or more ada or ne or more devia bed sheet, you know, no Bob one in an hour, natural say or the Akugu be beer, a wasser or yen and near mawa. Out of four and yan unqua, natural according to documentary, no papa no aye near mahu do be bray. Anya mimuno, any quince or diphobia, a yes out of four in some lady and yen yankasa. Namin canina, young court near court yabim ranasa never corner. My main cow set up top cent as you were Europe, Canada, US, or Sandiska, at the Abagana. What they found more account and as a bank account zipay or oh, Netherlands out oh, there. I do payment go place to another app store. Now download the tap tap send app on or download the web website so promo code and one is how we buy the party video show about the party TV show we are Europe. You bet your five euros so Canada and as a US and so I bet your ten dollars UK. I have five pounds. So that's now what you a year also bet me a download the app on this is your issue promo code at the party video. I told 25 dirhams out of where I'm quick. Now you could see a year documentary. You know, I have a TV Joshua. Mariah Koba, yeah, to us so at the amount. I am the Supreme Commander. The whole thing is fake. Totally faked. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. No yes. man can satisfy you. It's true, man of God. TB Joshua asked me to find virgins for him. <laughs> Each time they would say, Daddy's calling you. The bottom line is you'd have to go there. I thought I will take what he did to me to the grave. Just drive now. Go, 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 go. Lord, you know, Lord, you know, Lord, you know. Please, please, please. And he wrote something like uh, Arabic in the paper that I should put it under my pillow. And from there, everything I see in my dream is TB Joshua having sex with me and seeing myself in the synagogue. I could not live a normal life, so I, I went back to synagogue to complain. And, synagogue, and TB Joshua said God wanted to do so. So in my mind, I thought maybe you know, it's some um, evil playing in my mind. Until I got into the synagogue, I was separated from my family, I was separated from my friends. And when I got there, after like a week, TB Joshua invited me into the, his room and he sexually molested me. I don't know who to talk to while I was in the synagogue. I thought if I speak up, it's going to be a problem on me. But as, as I continued living in the synagogue, I saw that it, it's just a normal thing for TB Joshua to invite girls inside the school and have sex with them as long as eight years old, as long as 11 years old. In I got Lagos, Ikeja very close here. There is a case against TB Joshua where he sexually molested three girls of minors of the same parents. If I'm lying, you can go there and confirm. And by the time God helped me to leave the synagogue, TB Joshua still wants to kill me. But I overcome it by his, by his grace, and that is why I document all my story in this book. It's a 409 pages book. If TB Joshua thinks I'm lying, he can go to court. So when Busola Jacolo came out, my story seemed very close to her story. And that is why I am here. Not only because of Busola, not only because of me, but for every girl child that has been raped. Rape is ungodly, is unacceptable. We want every 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 rapist, every monster hiding in the in the on, on. In one after the other. I stayed there almost 14 years. They will be in thousands. Watch your screen. Watch your screen. You are going to deliver a baby boy. In the mighty name of Jesus. We used to film women giving birth live. He's somebody who used to paint a picture that he loves children but 
behind the closed doors it's a nightmare it's a nightmare I had three abortions at the synagogue and from speaking to other women I'm not the only one if any of us got pregnant, he said, you cannot betray the man of God. We have to do something about it. Women that he rapes, he forces them into abortion. I, I never had a choice whether I could keep a, a potential child or not. I felt like I didn't own my body. You know it, you skip your first period, you skip your second period and you have to talk. It would all done in secrecy, be taken by one of these elder moms to this clinic of his. I witnessed a lot of abortions, lots of abortions. I can't, it can't be counted. They started doing it inside the synagogue. There's a place they call medical department. We went out through the back door of his office. We went downstairs. There's an area that visitors would never see. You're given a concussion to drink, you get sick, or they put these metal pieces in your vagina and they extract whatever, and you don't know whether they're pulling out your womb or something's going wrong. She was squeezing my stomach and I had to push all those things. He was saying, out, out, out. Sometimes things go wrong. One of them almost died inside the synagogue. These were backdoor medical treatments that I, we were going through. It could have killed us. I saw how they suffered. I saw how they suffered. There were times I would go to the penthouse. I would be looking over to the main road. I would be crying. I was crying. I was crying for them. Sometimes you'd find yourself singing on stage at church and people will think you're crying because the Holy Spirit is there, but in actual fact, you're dead inside. The first time I met him, it looked helpful. It looked loving. Not knowing that behind that is, was a sadist, a psychopath. And I wanted to be connected to God. That's why I stayed there. That's why I keep trying my very best. <laughs> the God I was introduced to is evil. He's diabolic because this is the same God that would sleep with us. This is the same God that would beat us up. This is the same God that would manipulate us. You have no idea of what I went through. Every time I was beaten up, every time I was humiliated, it just reminded me that there was something wrong with that system. I saw female disciples going up to his room. They were away, they were going away for hours. I was hearing things, oh, this happened to me. Oh, he tried sleeping with me. Too many people were saying the same thing. Accounts, first time of people who had experienced sexual abuse. She got to know who he was. 
and she could not manage it quietly. She escalated it. I couldn't take it anymore. I walked directly into his office and I went off. I shouted at the top of my voice, why are you doing all of this? Why are you hurting all of these women? You're using this woman. You're sleeping with this woman. I lost every out of fear for this man. He was shocked. He was beyond shocked and he couldn't hide it. He tried to, you know, stare me down. Why? I was looking at his eyes. He got stared up, claiming innocence to the disciples. When he's angry, it's like he can kill. He was the first person that started hitting, hitting her, then other people joined. He was like, can you imagine, see what she was saying about me? Even as much as they were hitting her, beating her, she was still saying the same thing she was saying. If you are having an affair with all these women here, she said it plainly to him. Disciples dragged me out of the office. I was put in a room totally isolated from like the rest of the church. He would lock her up in a room for months. I'm not telling you weeks, so months. I, I wonder how I lived through that time because they were hitting me with belts, chains. I couldn't even stand up for days after this beating. I couldn't take a shower. He was trying so hard to stop people from listening to me. It just felt threatened by the fact that I knew the things that was happening. Ajoke was bold enough to confront him in front of his disciples. I see her as a hero to look at him and tell him who he is. Ah, she was brave. This child could see what we couldn't see and wouldn't yield to the lies and was punished for it. She created an image of an untouchable being, of a perfect being. But I was looking through those things. I was seeing a man that was very vulnerable, that was very afraid of the truth. He was very afraid that someone would speak up, could turn around and make him answer to those things that he had done. Everything was a keg of gunpowder, and it could have gone off in one moment. The families were lied to. He bought the whole system. How do you stand up to a man who has got a list of presidents in his pocket? Just continue to watch Emmanuel TV. TV Joshua preaches forgiveness, he doesn't forgive. They shot at the back of the back. He sent them to kill me. He sent them to kill me. Everywhere I turned to was like war. Over to our comments, part of comment session for my TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, where we are the party we meet. Hey, Miss Ama, at the Pebbles House, Asia, Makram. Top of send. Hey, Quentia, if I should send this to Kefri, I'm not only ever Ghana. So we Europe, UK, or Canada, only how we are. Oh, the answer is called Play Store and our App Store. Now, we we'll download the Tap Tap Send app. No, we we'll download the pet or we we'll use our promo code. And once we bought at the pet TV at the same, we bought same say pet. Who are Europe? Five euros. Who are US? Canada? Ten dollars. Who are UK? Five pounds. Tap Tap Send. We we'll send this to Ghana. They are free of charge. A bet me a better mobile money wallet and as a bank account. Tap Tap Send. Rate mu can come.